So we're waiting on a weather window to cross back to the States. And there's been a lot of strong winds from the wrong direction, as in north. Uh, because our engine isn't working well, we're trying to look for a weather window where we can sail to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, and that'll take about 24 hours, give or take. The issue is that we're seeing either really strong winds from the wrong direction or really, really light winds in the right direction, in which case Fort Lauderdale will be more than 24 hours away. And there's a chance we could just get caught bobbing along in the Gulf Stream. Yeah, slowly moving north. On the upside, it's my birthday tomorrow, so I get a Bahamas birthday. Uh, our good friend here in Green Turtle has offered to help us fix the drive lake, so we're just trying to see if we can get the parts in. Uh, which is a little bit of an adventure right now. Salette so have been really, really helpful. They're in the UK. The only way we can get the parts is bouncing them through uh, through the States and then getting them sent here uh, afterwards, which is uh, it's difficult. Plus, they're closed for the next five days. In, well, they close in 15 minutes for the next five days. So, uh, Which makes it even more difficult. Yeah. Uh, cats aren't very clever. Diana opened up a can of tuna and they came running over but they're not eating the fresh fish that I caught yesterday for them, so I'm gonna put it in the can and see if I can outsmart them. Hey kitties, want some canned tuna? Where are we? We're at the Green Turtle um, Club, and it's my birthday dinner. Mm. It's the day before my birthday. It's very nice here. <laughs> what did you get? I got um, conch tacos. No, lobster tacos. And you got you got a cow. We haven't had steak in a really long time. We're quite excited. <laughs> That's so good. Scones. I get scones for my birthday. <laughs> I really like scones. Pretty. <laughs> Diana treated me to a birthday massage and a picnic on the beach. Our next stop was the Blue Bee Bar, which was the home of the Goombe Smash. <laughs> using this cool website that allows you to plan your route for the wind. All right, I think the pink one is the winner. <laughs> Looking good. We're at the Tranquil Turtle. It's our, hopefully, maybe our last morning in Green Turtle. I'm to head to Grand Key tomorrow. Our last morning on land in Bahamas, possibly. Yeah. That big catamaran is not Catsway. Catsway is the little one next to you. <laughs> you. So we think we might have found uh, a window to cross. We're going to try and stage up to here and then cross over to Cape Canaveral. Uh, wind should be south, so it should be smooth and it looks like it's blowing about 10 to 15, which is perfect for us. We should be able to get at least 5 to 6 knots of speed, uh, plus the push from the Gulf Stream. And then just as we get in, the wind starts to die. <laughs> so at least we know it's not going to get rougher right away. We also have this app, 
we checked multiple apps, uh, which has the map, but it also has the tables, which is nice. So you can see the different weather models, four different weather models, and they're all kind of agreeing now. Um, Saturday, southeast, south, south, southeast, Sunday. Yeah, looks good. I think we might have found our crossing. We're going to stage tomorrow to Grand Key and then hopefully hop early Sunday morning, 24 hour sail to Fort, no, Cape Canaveral. Really looking forward to uh, sailing across the banks again. It's, uh, it's really fun when you have a liquid horizon and you're in eight feet of water. It's been a little while since uh, we started waiting for this weather window because we have no motor, so often the calm days that a lot of people are crossing, we can't do. We really have to find a sailing window, and this looks like it could be it. Fingers crossed. What did we do today? Nothing. We went out for breakfast, and then we were very lazy. No. Oh, and we scrubbed the bottom. We scrubbed oh, the bottom. Okay, yeah, we did something. <laughs> Uh, let me ask, ask me again. <laughs> what did we do today? <laughs> we scrubbed the bottom in preparation for our hop. Yeah, we want her to be as fast and efficient as possible. Cloudy morning in Green Turtle Key. We are leaving uh, to go to Grand Key this morning. And winds are light right now, but they're supposed to pick up. Hopefully to cross tomorrow. We're having an awesome sail. We're going the same speed as the waves in the same direction. On the charts we found an island to anchor behind, however when we arrived we discovered that the island was actually just a submerged rock which gave us no protection from the waves. It was a rough and noisy last sleep in the Bahamas. We left early the next morning and sailed towards the Gulf Stream. Greg's being nice to me, and he took the helm. <laughs> we're scrapped in just in case. But now that we're in the squall, it's supposed to have calmed down. That was me falling over. Windy when we're uh, coming up to the squall. Winds were nice when we we're in the squall, and now that the squall is like leaving, it's uh, it left left with the winds. It's the calm after the squall, hopefully. Yeah, yeah hopefully we're not in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> We were visited by two more squalls and I just happened to be at the helm both times. Diana stayed bone dry. In preparation for the journey, we and the cats both took bonine.
After a strong start to our crossing, winds became variable overnight, leading us to drop to speeds of two knots or less. After wind shifted north, we reluctantly turned on the motor as we got closer to Cape Canaveral. Our whole voyage from Green Turtle Key to Cape Canaveral took three days. The Gulf Stream crossing from our staging point near Grand Key to the US coast took 36 hours. After checking in with the CBP, we took down our tattered strip of Bahamas flag and hoisted up our US courtesy flag. While we were relieved to have done a safe crossing and were looking forward to some freshwater showers again, the quality of the water left something to be desired. We're sorry for this delayed video. We've been back on dry land for a few months now and life has gotten in the way. The plan is to document our complete trip back to Canada. We're in the process of selling cats away and looking for a smaller boat for our next adventure. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. And if you're interested in buying cats away, please contact us. Details in the description. Thanks for watching.